Okay, my fellow viewers. Um, I have this idea that I would like to share with you guys and see what you think. Yeah, okay, uh, it's a really quick sketch. I want to change the track plan and bring the yard up into here and then move the building at an angle and put mountains on the sides. So basically, it's going to rip the track up from here. All this track is going to get ripped up, taken out, and then I want to move it up to in this area, general area right here. I want to rip this mountain out. Out. Take Rip the building off. out. All that stuff. Take this out because I don't want this here anymore because it's too flimsy. And I want to move the tracks up here, then build a mountain right here, up, and up all the way along down here. And then right here, I want to have like a little road that comes through. The road coming up through there, and then through the mountain right there. A little piece of mountain, and then it'll just be wrapped around. Here we go. Yeah. Turtle. Tornado! Oh no, what shall we do? Oh. Start off by cutting some smaller pieces. I'm over here for now. I'll get a whole bunch cut. The entire two day excursion is being run on the rails. So I'm almost done laying down all the plaster in this area. So, there you go. I still got a little bit left. Pretty cool. So, put these buildings down where they're going. Two tracks, one switches off in the two into there, and then stops right there. And then the corner comes around, the road that comes across, and then the Y switch, and the one that comes down here into the loader area. So pretty cool. Thank you guys, I uh, just got done painting it. Um, I let it, the plaster dry overnight, 
so it was hard. It's all hard now, and I just got done painting it, so it looks pretty good. And the colors are really bright, but still came out pretty good. I didn't really paint this much because that's going to be a rock face, anyways. But it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Got my red coming up through here and right down to there. And then my little concrete wall, I just painted it concrete color. So it'll work out pretty good. I have the tracks down too. This is where the tracks are going to be. See it wise off here. One goes over to where it'll be the loading thing for the gravel. And then wise off again into the two coal mine areas. So it's pretty cool. And I actually made this so that my three axle engines will run on it too. This corner is 18 inch radius, so that's like the sharpest it ever gets in here. And this is half of an 18 inch radius, so it's just just a smaller 18 inch radius, so it's pretty good. And the flex track, that piece that I have right here is like 21 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, here you go. I'll start uh, doing scenery soon. Probably not today. Maybe throughout the week. I'm not sure yet. Alright guys, I just showed you an update on when I got back from Michael's, which is the craft store, and I got the plaster and stuff. So, yeah, I just got back from the hobby shop, and I got some more stuff that's really cool. I actually picked up a new Easy Command system, since mine... Right there is fried. I got a new one. Pretty cheap. Uh, 80 bucks. It's pretty cheap. But on the last update, I got plaster. I got this for weathering. Got some model glue. And I picked up these trees, which are actually over here right now. Pretty nice. That's not where they're going. I just put them there just to put them up. So, that's pretty much all I got for that update. But this... I got the easy command system, I got another switch for here, for over there, I got some more straight track, I got this right here, which is a retaining wall, for over there on the coal mine, you'll see that in a little bit, I got these concrete grade crossings from Blama Models, They're really nice, Let's see what the price is, that's $7.50 for one grade crossing, I got some new, got some coal, $4, and then this is the biggest thing I got, Miss Betty's Diner, which will be going right here. So, can't wait for that. We'll put that together soon. It's got a whole bunch of different decals for it. One eighty-two, right there. Wow. A lot of money. That's only for this stuff here. This, these were eight dollars a piece. This was like six dollars. That was like two dollars. Um, I think the plaster was like twenty-five dollars. So yeah, it's a lot of money right there. So I mean, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff though. So I'm pretty happy with everything. Oh, also this. Right here. You know what that's for? It's going around the whole layout so you can't see all that crap underneath. Finally got some stuff for that. So I'm very, very I happy. got to open it up my DCC system. And I forgot to show you guys this. I got the TV in the train room now. So I got some videos playing. So when I'm working I can watch the train videos. So I got the six right here. Stream Steam, Class North American Steam, Santa Fe, Route of the Chiefs, Steam 98, New Pacific, Clinchfield Challenge, and working on the Santa Fe. So, there you go. And then I got this saw up that I bought a while back. It's pretty cool. So I just got, just adding stuff to the layout, you know. And I should be painting the walls a different color soon, too. So, it's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, that's the last of the updates. So, uh, I'll see you guys on the next update. Peace.